hello and thanks for clicking on this video today we're currently in brigham city utah Yeehaw! welcome to brigham which is northern utah we're kind of continuing around our little trek of the entire state We just spent the last couple days in Salt Lake City with my relatives. It's always really nice to see friends and family when we pass through like the city or town that they live in. We were with them for a couple of days and it was so nice to just like hang out in their house and do just like normal not van related things. But I did let the mess of the van kind of get out of control. I've said before, if you skip one day of cleaning the van, it just gets like completely out of control. So I have some catching up to do today with the organization and cleanliness of our van. But you have seen me clean this van a million times at this point, so you know what that looks like. I'm gonna do it the fast way today. I went to Trader Joe's with Haley in Salt Lake City and I saw this non-dairy pumpkin oat milk that looked pretty good. So I wanted to try it because I thought it'd be good with coffee and it is, but I've noticed it's orange, which I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I feel like if it was like a normal color, but pumpkin flavored, I would still like it just as much. I'd probably like it more. Like, I don't like when companies like dye the food to be the color of what it's flavored as because it just adds more like artificial stuff to it that isn't really necessary. Annatto extract for color, whatever that is. I don't know if it's natural. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> It was so cold and windy at the Pink Lake that we had to dig out some of our warm clothes. It's been a while since we've needed those. We had some ground to cover because the water has receded so much from the land where the parking lot is. We ran to get there faster and work up a sweat for warmth. The water itself is not pink, but the lake bottom in this particular area is, giving it its name, the Pink Lake. And he stopped. He's trying to run the drone. Here he comes, he's running. <laughs> You did it! <laughs> you look cold. What's wild is like two, three days ago, it was 80 degree weather. What is that, a dead fish? It's so cold. Do you need the salt? So when we first got to Utah, it was like 80 degree weather and literally the next day it was like 45 degree weather. So we went from summer to winter literally overnight and it has been a rough transition, but we just got to the Salt Flats, which is on the west side of the state and we're gonna go check it out. It looks like people are walking on a frozen lake, but it's actually salt. It literally does look like snow, even when you're walking on it. Are we doing this? Yeah. Okay, let's I try go. To. Sometimes when we do stuff like this, I wonder if we're doing something really dumb. Sometimes <laughs> it just feels like a bad idea. Oh yeah, this is fine. It's literally flat. It's pretty compact so far. I'm sure people have gotten stuck out here maybe when it rains. You see how fast we can get this beast? No. Oh, this is nuts. I should buy a Corvette here. What is that? What? What do you think of the salt flats? They're epic. Bathroom break. That's a long way.
We're just like in a random pasture. Whoa! Dang! Okay. Fish in there. You can't tell if it's warm or not. You can't tell? It's not like, you put your hand in it, it's not like warm, warm, you know? That's not very reassuring. This is not warm though. <laughs> it's just like lukewarm. Look at him swimming. Maybe if we just like do this, we'll just <laughs> circles. <laughs> Look at him. He's like not in the water, he's still running. <laughs> The next few days were jam-packed with lots of hiking. We started in Zion National Park. Pretty high up. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> you a little cold? Yes. <laughs> oh. Getting rain done? Yeah. <laughs> this is tonight's view. About to start the hike, and Andy locked the keys in the van. My bad. Oh my god. Can your arm get through that? Of course, Henry's freaking tapped in there too, huh? You want me to do it? Where even is the handle? You can see it if you look through. You're touching it? You're so close. I don't feel it. Can you see it now? It just won't quite reach. I need a longer stick. There's not many sticks. <laughs> oh my god. No? Oh. What? What happened? <sighs> you got it? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, my ankle is so cold that I just like jumped down and it, you ever get that when your ankle is like really cold? No. Oh my God. I almost lost my cliff bar. 
That was bad. It actually only set us back 20 minutes. 20 minutes to break into our van? Actually, it doesn't make me feel great about all the times we've left our van. One person's walking stick is another person's tool for breaking into a van. Oh. <sighs> okay, we are on our way. Since we started van life in July of 2022, I've dreamt about visiting Buckskin Gulch. The fact that it was our second to last stop of the entire van adventure really made it feel like we were wrapping up our experience with a nice little bow. Kaka! Instagram versus reality. These are everywhere. Satisfying. Well, we officially only have one stop left on our van adventure and then we're done. What do you think you're doing? That's not where you're supposed to be sitting. That's not where you're supposed to be. Can you get off the counter? Henry. At this point, like 50% of every video I post is just Henry content, but do we really mind? I don't. Get in a nice wash. After multiple deserts, the salt flats, it was definitely time to give this van a really good wash. Andy spent the majority of the summer repainting the outside of the van, so allowing salt to settle on this paint is not a good idea. What's going on? Uh, it looks like I thought these were campfires, but they're they're definitely not campfires. These are look intentional, like controlled burning or something. We were gonna camp here, but now I'm like, I'm not sure where to camp because there's tons of smoke. It's like that Titanic water. It is so cold and our heater is broken for like the upteenth time. It's like 31 degrees and we're waking up and trying to get moving, but it is so cold. Andy just tried to uh, wash a bowl for cereal and the soap is completely frozen. The bad thing is we're in Southern Utah and it's this cold. Imagine how it's gonna be next week when we're North. We'll survive. How much milk? I'll tell you when. Thank you. We got groceries yesterday and I had a random hankering for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So throwing it back to childhood. This boy's going <laughs> right in front of us. You silly boy or girl. I know something sad. This is probably the last time we're gonna see animals on the road in our van life journey. That's kind of sad. And that is it for the state of Utah. Utah, you are a blast. I cannot wait to come back. That was so much fun. We are crossing into Colorado, so I'm gonna end the video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. See you next time, bye.